I'm going to start with Yash, who, as you heard earlier, is the uh, writer in residence in Poland uh, for the weather station, what it means to be an artist and an activist, and how he is personally engaging with climate change and what the issue means to you, Yash. Um, and it'd be great to hear a bit more about weather stations as well. Thank you. Thank you for explaining, because no więc po prostu wydaje mi się, że trzeba się tym zajmować, chociaż y, y, czym więcej się tym dowiaduję, to ty, ty, tym bardziej y, robi mi się smutno i beznadziejnie. <grym> I te, też z, 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 zawsze raczej myślałem sobie jak, jako pisarzu niż, niż aktywiście, ale coraz bardziej się radykalizuję i boję się, że po prostu któregoś dnia zostanę aresztowany, jak będę wysadzał jakąś kopalnię albo elektrownię. Of course I think um, climate change is one of the most important issues of our time. Um, it is, after all, the Armageddon that's coming and, there is, um, and that we still have no answer to. Um, we, we do need to fight it, and um, uh, even though we have all the knowledge at our disposal, the CO2 emissions are continually rising. Uh, and the more I learn, the, more I, the, the sadder and the more hopeless I feel. Um, I used to think about myself more as a writer than as an activist, but the more I... Uh, learn, the more radical I feel, and I think that one day I'm going to be arrested when I'm going to be blowing up a coal mine. <laughs> okay, um, so I I um, I totally appreciate that that level of um, concern um, and pessimism, and I think it relates to what Inua was saying earlier that actually, if you think about this issue um, seriously, it, it can feel um, quite really quite scary, frankly. Um, and in that context, and in, in the context of um, art moving people and changing people and making them think about things, do you feel that writers and poets can change behavior and understanding of climate change issues? No, mam taką nadzieję, że mogą zmienić, chociaż też nie, nie, nie przeceniałbym swojego wpływu, ale Wydaje mi się, że to, co pisarze mogą z, robić, to na, 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 nadawać tym dosyć abstrakcyjnym, e, e, tej do, dość abstrakcyjnej wiedzy, jakiś taki bardziej, bardziej oso, osobisty wymiar właśnie, że pokazywać, że to dotyczy z, każdego z nas i pokazywać, i, i, e, jak to nas dotyczy właśnie, do, dopóki, do, dopóki nie, nie zrozumiemy, że, że zmiany klimatyczne są, są naszą osobistą sprawą, no to nic z tego nie będzie. So, um... Although I wouldn't uh, overstate my own influence, um, but I think the way writers and poets can help is to make this abstract knowledge um, gain some kind of a personal dimension. Um, this is, after all, a thing that um, relates to all of us, and we are all involved. Um, so an artist can show how we're involved and in, in what ways this, um, this touches us. And they can try and make this a personal issue. I'm just going to um, ask Victoria a question now, which is, um, as a young artist, how do you feel your generation of poets and writers who, let's face it, are going to be most affected by climate change, um, how do you feel that they're responding to and engaging with climate change? Um, one of the things I was saying earlier is that I, I don't, from, I mean, I go to quite a few poetry events and I don't see a lot of poetry which is explicitly concerned with climate change. You see poetry which is, um, you know, shows a sort of pastoral side, a love for nature and things like that, but that's not talking about a crisis. And I think that what you see often is people engaging with issues which seem a lot more immediate, whether that's tuition fees, whether that's relationships, whether that's things going on in America um, or Baltimore or Ferguson or wherever next it will be, things like that, social justice issues. And I think that takes the, the first position in terms of what they write about. And I don't feel bad about that, but I think it's because we are not taught to see the connections between various issues and not we're not taught to see them as systematic we just take them as isolated events there may not be any easy answer to this but what more can we as a kind of artistic community be doing do you think um as an artistic community i think it does rest on us to find ways 
of spreading this conversation. Because face it, um, the government won't unless they see that we care about it. Because um, they are supposed to be leaders, we elect them to make difficult decisions, but things have been upturned now where they're waiting for us to tell them what decisions to make on our behalf and when we bicker about it, they scream and plan for the next four years and completely ignore us. So it's, it's this vicious circle. I think until the artists find more interesting and sometimes honest, maybe painful ways of keeping this conversation at the forefront, the leaders wouldn't begin to take it into consideration enough to make active and visceral and important and life-changing you know, decisions. How do you make sure that the uh, reader or the audience actually understands as well? Because obviously, by talking, connecting climate change to, to mainstream, to like um, health and economy and go on forever about that, and you talk about I inequality, you might, when you write it, think that it connects it, but how do you make sure that the one who's reading it also, also feels the same way. I wrote one poem specifically for this event, and I had to write that poem because I didn't have any poems which were quite clearly about climate change. And I am a person who loves nature, but I have never written about a fear of losing it. Um, but what I've learned from that, and I'm really happy that I was asked to do this, is that even though my main concerns may be to do with you know, the housing crisis or you know, racism or prejudice or lots of things which are a lot more common on the poetry scene, this is not unrelated because we can look at the way humans have been persecuted, but if we look at the way the earth has been treated, it's been treated in the same way, if not worse than human beings. And if, you, if, you know, if you're one of those people who has a problem with capitalism, the way that Earth has been extracted and abused, it's still another victim. So when you look at it at a systematic level, if you can, I think for me, if I could try to put that into my writing to say it's the same system doing this, it's all connected, then I think that would be the way to go forward. Otherwise it's quite abstract. No, mam nadzieję, że jakoś udaje mi się pokazać, że to wszystko jest powiązane. Na przykład też staram się mówić o, o, o jedzeniu mięsa czy o weganizmie, bo, bo jednak za 18% emisji dwutlenku węgla odpowiada hodowla przemysłowa zwierząt, więc wydaje mi się, że trudno być na przykład aktywistą i, i nie być weganinem. No ale oczywiście to jest wszystko, wszystko to jest problem, problem kapitalizmu i tego, że chcemy, chcemy produkować jak najwięcej i rozwijać się jeszcze bardziej właśnie w sposób nie, nie, niezrównoważony. A więc dopóki tego, tego nie powstrzymamy, no to sytuacja jest raczej beznadziejna. I hope that I can show how it's related. The thing that I try to do is um, talk to people about uh, things like meat and veganism, for example. Um, uh, as far as I know, 80% of the CO2 emissions are related to um, industrial farming of animals for meat. So, um, so my position is that you can't really be an activist and, and not be a, a, a vegan. And this is a, a general problem of capitalism. We want to um, produce more and more, we want to develop more and more in a completely unbalanced way. So um, so this is how it affects us. Do you think the arts have been sidelined by a similar mentality that has sidelined climate change in the sense that, you know, we, if you have a very kind of functional or instrumental view of, you know, your economy or what your government needs to do, you're going to say, well, the arts, they, they don't have a function, you know, they don't produce anything. Likewise, if you kind of just concentrated on the the motor of economic growth, you're not going to think, we're not worried about the side effects, you know, as long as we can kind of drive up employment and, and kind of keep, you know, the GDP high. If you value the arts, then you're going to see the positive side of things that are outside of the economy. And if you consider climate change to be a real problem, you're going to also understand things that are, um, you know, negative impacts. So I write poetry for a living predominantly. And um, one of my ex-girlfriends, she's currently working in Ebola um, in Sierra Leone. And... Um, when we were dating, I just felt belittled by her job. I said, you know, you actually create programs where you save thousands of lives day in, day out. I just write poems for a living. Like, there's absolutely no way my work is as valued as yours. I do think artists 
um, should be aware that there is a pecking order, regardless of you know how how you might clash with that. It is true. Um, a man who is hungry would rather be fed than to be read poems, and I think you know, the scientists and the engineers, they have a bigger role to play in saving the world than the artists do, but we are part of that conversation. If you're interested in activism in your art, how do you, how do you keep the artistic integrity to it? Because you're very, especially when you're talking about being explicit, you're, you're very explicitly taking a position on something. Um, and how does that cause you any uh, trepidation? No, wydaje mi się, że każda twórczość jest zaangażowana i nie, nie, nie ma innej pytanie, jest, 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 czy w, w co jesteśmy zaangażowani. Możemy być zaangażowani w zmianę świata, najlepsze możemy być zaangażowani w relacje z Bogiem albo w, właśnie w, w kultywowanie swojego ego, w, czym chyba jest większość wierszy obecnie powstających. Więc nie, 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 nie widzę takiego problemu, że, 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 że właśnie sztuka czy oskarżenia w sztukę o propagandę, to są, to są właśnie jak, jak, jakieś, jakieś takie fałszywe dylematy, które, które chcą, chcą, od, od, chcą, żeby sztuka nie, nie była zaangażowana właśnie w zmianę świata, tylko zaangażowana właśnie w coś innego i nie przeszkadzała <grytania> kapitalizmowi. Myślę, że każdy kind of art jest engaged art. Myślę, że nie ma such thing as art, that's jest not engaged. Uh, the only issue is is what it is engaged in. It can be engaged in um, changing the world for the better, or it can be engaged in the artist's relationship with God, or it can be engaged with his relationship with his ego, which I think is, um, is the topic of most of the poems written nowadays. Um, so I don't really have a problem with um, talking about art being engaged in things. Um, and accusing art of propaganda is i think a bit of a, a bit of a false dichotomy yes what is what is important is that um it can be engaged in um uh in a change for the better but i think what capitalism wants to do is distract it from being engaged with changing things for the better and kind of di direct it into other less uh, obtrusive activities no tak, ja się zgadzam ze Szczepanem, ale trochę nie wiem, co, co, co można zrobić, co nie, nie byłoby produkowaniem systemu, aczkolwiek cały czas staram się to wymyślić. <grych> I Myślę sobie, że przynajmniej będę miał czyste sumienie. Pisałem o tym wiejsze, robiłem, co potrafiłem, nie udało się, ale, ale ostrzegałem. I agree. Um, I, um, I don't really know what we can do not to reproduce the system. Um, and and i'm still and i'm still thinking about that i'm still kind of mulling it over uh but at least i can know i know that my conscience is clear i've i've written the poems i've spoken the words and i i've warned you people <laughs> how do you keep hope how do you keep hoping and what are the small things that you do to keep doing things and to keep hoping as poets, we are creating work which talks about issues like this. We do have to engage with people who are actually doing things because it's very easy to see you know, the front pages of newspapers or even a Facebook feed and think, oh, you know, it's all rubbish. And I feel that way very often. But I also know that there are things happening. I know there are people out there doing things. And perhaps if I'm going to be engaging in what you say is you know, the maintenance of hope, then I need to find those things. I can't just assume that they're not there because you don't see them every day. So I think you know, maybe the role of being an artist is to really be a seeker, really find what's happening, not just what's bad, but what's good. And that is the way that you can bring it forward. No, mi się nie wydaje, żeby nadzieja była potrzebna do tego, żeby działać. Przynajmniej mi, mi nie jest potrzebna, bo, bo myślę, że jest, no nie mam za dużo nadziei, a mimo to dobrze mi się działa, dobrze mi się pisze wiejsze. Myślę, że zrobię jeszcze super, dużo fajnych rzeczy. Żyjemy w wspaniałym świecie. Szkoda, że umiera, ale jest fajnie. I personally don't actually think that, um, that hope is necessary. Um, I don't have a lot of hope, but I still act and I still write poems, and I still do um, cool things. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, we're living in a great world. It's a shame that it's dying, but um, we, don't, we don't need um, hope to, to keep doing things. I 
personally feel that um, poetry which has a political aim or, or a kind of agenda isn't necessarily going to be good poetry. It could be good poetry or it could be bad poetry. Um, but I, 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 th I kind of, I feel like um, good poetry of, on any topic has the power to move people in ways which are going to change their like state of being and their mind in a way which should be positive and should help people to live their lives in different ways, in alternative ways. Um, so that's just like a positive feeling about poetry that I think and I don't think it has to be about climate change I don't think you have to have a flag saying we're green, we're poets um, and sometimes elliptical poetry which isn't about these things might have just as an equally powerful effect on people I, I agree and disagree um, I disagree because um, I think our attention spans are shortening and creating art that is beautiful and delicate and precise sometimes just doesn't work because people tend not to have time to digest things and to let it run its course sometimes. I mean, that, 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 that's why things like Twitter is thriving, you know, because people just want things they can digest or flash fiction has had a renaissance in the last, you know, you know, in the last five years. So I think um, sometimes creating things that are nail on the headish you know, does work. Um, I mean, if you just think about, I can't believe I'm using this as an example, but Bob Geldof and Band-Aid and those ridiculous songs did create, an, you know, they did gather an astonishing amount of money to, to put towards a good cause. And if you think about pop songs, for instance, sometimes they just drive a message home in ways that, um, you know, policies just can't. I remember Black Eyed Peas before they went really pop and rubbish. Um, that Where Is The Love song was huge and there were campaigns and, you know, charities just using that as their, you know, and, and it, it, it really, there was a moment where it just felt like this was, this was happening. This was changing the world. People were listening. People were asking, where is the love, you know? And so I do agree with you and don't as well, because I think um, if it's written with enough skill and enough precision, blunt as it might be, it might just be what is needed. Personally, it's been useful to hear um, what, people think about poems or art as being works of activism or you know, how effective these things can be or how ineffective it can be. And um, hearing Josh talk about um, hope has been quite interesting for me because it, maybe sometimes hope seems like, oh, well, if there's nothing to hope for, then we don't have to do anything. And perhaps that's not the case we should morally do some things, regardless of whether we're going to see the fruits of them or not. I won't be here um, when horrible things are happening on this planet, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't do something while I am here. The job, the person. Get to work. <laughs> Get to work, people, right. Thank you so much.